This video will instruct you on how to go about setting up your enzyme catalysis experiment. In the beaker on the left is our enzyme, which is catalase. In the beaker centered is hydrogen peroxide, which is the substrate for this chemical reaction. It's the same hydrogen peroxide you can buy at the grocery store. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide. Um, your directions will call for you filling a test tube, seen here. This uh, test tube you are going to add 20 milliliters of your substrate to. So we're going to pour 20 milliliters of substrate into our graduated cylinder and then we're going to add that to the test tube. Then we will use one of these filter paper discs here to place in that uh, test tube to time how long it takes to float to the surface when bubbles of oxygen begin forming on its surface. So let's pour our hydrogen peroxide. We need 20 milliliters. So here we go. And this should fill the, the test tube eh, about two-thirds of the way full, as you can see here. Now, we will obtain a filter disc. These have just simply been punched with a hole punch. And we will then soak these in our catalase solution for a moment. And then we will touch these to a piece of dry paper towels simply to absorb any of the excess off. That will give us a consistent result each time. So now we're ready to put this into our test tube. We want it to sink to the bottom. There it goes. And now it has sunk to the bottom of the tube. And we would start a stopwatch the moment it set settled to the bottom of the tube. So now we will wait for the bubbles to form and for the tube to rise, or for the disc to rise, and there it goes. And we would hit stop now on our stopwatch. In this experiment, you will perform essentially the same concept with different manipulations of substrate concentration, enzyme concentration, temperature, and pH. And that's it. This is the basic concept for how you will do your experiment. Uh, you will have several different trials that you'll run for each one. We will do this four times, what you just saw me do, four times for each thing, and we'll average those. So if we have one disc that rises slightly too fast or one that rises slightly too slow, we're going to do this four times and average it. So if this was a 100% concentration of enzyme in 100% concentration of substrate, we would do this four times to get our value. All right, good luck. Thanks.